In more local coverage now, a plan is in the works to bury power lines near the 195 land freed up by the relocation project. The power lines border the land along Tokwatton Street in Fox Point. Now supporters are calling on city officials to get the project finally off the ground. Highway to Sue supporter TJ Del Santo joins us now with the details that are new at 530. Burying the power lines at India Point Park has been a project that's been ongoing for more than a decade now. But those close with the project feel that they've got a little momentum now. Members of Friends of India Point Park have been trying to get these power lines buried since 2002 for aesthetic, health, and economic reasons. Well, one big stumbling block is that the price, the, the moving target. This stretch of power lines begins at the Manchester Street Power Station, along the park, and into East Providence. The original price tag to get them buried was set at $8.6 million, then 11, then 17, and now $22 million by National Grid. David Riley of the Friends of of India Point Park said his organization has raised 17 million of the 22 from state and federal sources. A developer wants to build apartment buildings on the old 195 land and in East Providence, but the views of the apartments would be of power lines. Many, many studies show that power, a view of power lines can depress property values by up to 30 percent. Riley said this is the time to bury the lines during all the construction, and they are looking to the 195 Relocation Commission for help, but not for money. What they do have is influence, and they can talk to the Energy Facility Siting Board. They can talk to the, to the state uh, planning, statewide planning to say this is crucial. We called the 195 Relocation Commission, but didn't get a call back. But David Riley says the commission did show interest and is expected to vote next month. Despite the added momentum, project organizers still say that there's no actual target date as to when these power lines could be buried. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.